Welcome back to VIX Projects everyone. I hope you're well. Today, hopefully, we've got another nice easy fix. <laughs> this guy. So, we're going to have a look at our crashing suspension. So, have you ever found yourself driving your lovely classic old car down some country roads, big smile on your face, and suddenly you come to a pothole, a bump, and the front end just starts crashing about. And you think, hold on a minute, I've replaced the ball joints. I've replaced the track rod ends. What on earth could this be? Well, I think I know what's going on. So let's get this wheel off, get the car up in the air, and let's have a look. So as I said, you've got ball joints, top and bottom. You've got track rod end. So those are the normal culprits. There's also bushings all the way on the two wishbones, but all of those have been replaced. So I know they're good. The way to check is normally to get a pry bar in there, just start moving things about. But in this instance, what I'm gonna do, jack the wheel up and that should reveal our culprit. Obviously, getting our camera out has scared this away. Maybe I should just drive around with the camera on, <laughs> but I don't think that's actually gonna solve our problem. You'll just have to trust me that it's there, and the sort of noise that it is, I've heard this before on other cars, and I'm pretty sure it is this anti-roll bar bush here running dry. So what happens is, as the suspension goes up and down, especially sharply, the anti-roll bar tries to turn in that bush, and where it's dry, it grabs and gives a really loud creak. Thankfully, this is a super simple job. So it's two bolts either side, just to drop the anti-roll bar off of those bushes. Uh, we then put in some heavy silicon lube, bolt it back up, and away we go. Super simple. Okay, let's crack into it. Well, as I suspected, these guys are dry as a bone and you can start to see they're wearing away inside. So we're gonna put our grease in here. We're also gonna put a load on the anti-roll bar itself. I've got a little bit left over from when I converted the MR2 to polybush. So squeeze that in there, lube it up with a finger, bolt it back in. So has our simple fix worked? Yes, yes it has. Awesome. Wow, that's it for this one. Happy driving and we'll see you next Okay. I think the engine's buggered. There's probably a silver lining in that there's so much oil coming out the bottom of that engine anyway <laughs> uh, that we need to take it out and do a load of seals. So at least we get to do that. The engine bay, that needs a bit of a clean up. So at least the engine's out to do that. <sighs> But I guess if we're gonna, yeah, if we're gonna take the engine apart, or oh, I'm not going to, someone will. If someone's gonna take the engine apart and give it a rebuild, 
there's no point getting the same back. We could probably have a few tweaks inside. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, hi there. Um, I've got an engine that needs a rebuild. It's a 3.4 XK. Uh, said on your website that you do those? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I was also wondering if you do tuning. So could you do like a fast road setup? Yeah, you've done that before. Okay, great. Um, so I think like, you know, some, some new cams in it. Uh, and can you, can you do the head? Yeah, you do porting on the head. Okay, great. Um, anything else on the head? Oh, new valves. Uh, oh, modern valves. Yeah, uh, with the new valve stem seals as well. Cool. Yeah, definitely need some of those. So I think with the bottom end that you can do? Oh, you can lighten and balance that. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely need that. What about the compression? Can we, can we up the compression? Are oh, this, yeah, you got some, something for that. That would be cool. Are oh, these competition valves? Well, it kind of makes sense while you're there, right? Yeah. Okay. No way. Someone makes an aluminium block to replace the cast iron block. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. And then new sleeves and then, and then you'll tune it up as well. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. So how much would all that come to? Hello? Vic? Are you there? Hello?